Sonic the Hedgehog is huge. There's no doubt about that. And while I can't say I agree with what Sega's done with the franchise itself, there's no denying Sonic's popularity. Not to mention, the Sonic fanbase is one of the most dedicated fanbases in all of video games. And at times, also the strangest. No offense, guys, some of you are weird. But with a character as big as Sonic and a fan base as dedicated as Sonic's is, it's pretty much inevitable for fans to want to create their own Sonic games. Now, fan games exist in all shapes and sizes, but one thing's for certain they're usually not very good. So let's check some out. So the first game I stumbled upon is this. It's actually a fan remake of a bootleg game called Somari. Back in the day, bootleg games like this would pop up all over the place, and Somari was basically an unofficial failed attempt at bringing a Sonic the Hedgehog game to the Nintendo Famicom. And, uh, they replaced Sonic Sprite with Mario. For reasons I can't seem to wrap my head around, people decided to remake this game with better controls and affectionately titled it Somari 3D Blast 5. Well, I have no goddamn idea who Hummer is, but since this is Somari 3D Blast 5, we may as well play with, uh, Somari. Oh my god, look at his goofy ass legs and arms. What? Mr. Dink? Is that you? Come on, let me have it! <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why, but when walking or running on certain slopes, Mario's sprite bugs out and gets all distorted. The music is also an actual fucking nightmare. It's so jarring and unsettling because it's the original Sonic 1 songs, only... Wrong. All wrong. And I can't get over how ridiculous it is to see Mario do a fucking spin dash. Oftentimes you'll collect rings and the game will randomly decide it doesn't want to trigger the ring sound. So after you get hit, you just kind of have to jump near the rings and hope for the best. Also, I'm not quite sure if this counter here is counting my number of lives or if it's just letting me know how many bong rips Mario's taken. Other than that though, this is really just a Sonic 1 clone and it doesn't control too badly all things considered. But still, just don't, don't play this. Just play Sonic 1. If you don't have Sonic 1, just like, just like sit in silence and stare at the wall, that'll be a better use of your time. This one was just a remake of a game that already exists though. I want to find some real original games. I think we're gonna have to dig a little deeper. So I found some websites that have original Sonic the Hedgehog Flash games. The first of which was this one called Sonic Boom Boom. Don't ask me why the Sonic X logo flashes by because as far as I can tell, it's completely irrelevant. I'm not sure what kind of game it is, but you can play as Sonic. Tails, Echidna, and che Cheese. Oh, okay, this is like a Bomberman clone called Sonic Boom Boom. Real clever, guys. Honestly, there isn't much to this. It's a lot like Bomberman, except you use the blast from your bombs to claim turf. Nothing really too interesting to see here, so let's just move on. This one is called Sonic in Istanbul. What's Sonic doing in Istanbul, you might be wondering? Hopping across a series of slowly disappearing platforms, apparently. Next. Man, people really like slapping Mario and Sonic into the same game. Sonic saves Mario, huh? Where are we saving him from? Is it kind of like the whole Princess Peach Bowser situation, or...? What? So Mario is blackout drunk, I guess, and Sonic tossed his limp, corpse-like body into the bed of a pickup truck, because what are friends for, right? The point of the game is to reach the end of the stage with the goal of getting Mario home to sleep off all the booze. Heh, <laughs> booze. If you drive too fast and lose control, though, Mario flies out of the back of the truck like a sack of fucking potatoes. That's about it for this game, but seeing Mario flop around the bed of the truck doesn't seem to get old for me. This one's a Sonic skateboarding game, and god is this music intense. I guess the goal is to collect these coins and... I went too fast. Basically, you skate around collecting coins and avoiding any hazards in the way. Once you collect enough coins, you move on to the next stage. I know you guys saw this earlier. I ignored it because I have no words for it. Each level is just more of the same. We have a snow level, a city level, a desert level, even though that's physically impossible. This is actually one of the more fun games I played, though I'm using the word fun very, very loosely. There is this frustrating lag time in between jumps, which caused me to mess up a few times where hazards were too close together. But hey, at least it's still better than Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. This one is an Angry Birds clone. Sonic has an epic bicycle race against Bart Simpson in this brilliantly titled game, Sonic vs. Simpson. Why? 
The point of this game, as I'm sure you can already figure out, is to make it to the goal before Bart. You also have to control the lean of the bike, because if you go up or down a steep hill too fast without leaning correctly, you fall upside down and your health quickly drains and you lose. You can also press Z for a speed boost. As you race, you collect rings to increase your score. And who could forget that iconic Sonic the Hedgehog ring sound? I'm also not quite sure what these totem poles are all about or why the faces are all identical, but they make about as much sense as the music in this game. Make it to the end and Sonic will be super stoked on life, which is more than I can say for myself at the moment. This one's yet another Mario-Sonic mashup, but this time, Mario and Sonic pilot a plane. So I guess the point of this one is to fly as far as you can murdering Goombas and Koopas to get a higher score before running out of stamina and violently crashing to your death. Before each run you can spam the spacebar to get extra stamina, but it didn't really help me all that much. This game is actually pretty violent. You shoot down other planes piloted by Goombas, or you can just straight up mow them down in midair with the propeller. You can also hit these speed boosts that make everything go fucking crazy and uncontrollable. I do have to applaud these clouds for their optimism. I don't know how they can still be smiling with all this World War One shit going on. Sonic Dots? I wonder what this could be. It's Pac-Man. Well, these were fun, but I want to play some real Sonic fan games. You know, ones made by actual Sonic fans. You know, actual Sonic fans. I gotta say, when I had the idea to go searching on the internet for Sonic fan games, I had a feeling I'd quickly run into something like this. But why? Why does this exist? Who asked for this? With this wonderful Sonic character creator, you can create the OC of your dreams. There's just something very, very unsettling about this. I shouldn't be able to give a furry animal a beak and two tails. In no time at all, you can make a plethora of uninspired, pointless, and forgettable characters of your very own. Just like Sega! I made the mistake of showing mine to everyone before I made this video. Someone drew it. This is not okay. this? Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. What's going on? I, I don't even understand what's happening. Why am I a cube? There's a series of stages, but as far as I can tell, the only goal is to go right. It's becoming kind of a cliche in videos like these to call a game a fever dream, but holy shit, I don't even have anything else to compare it to. And now I'm controlling Sonic in the title screen, and I'm stuck. If you beat every stage, nothing happens, and you just end up back at the title screen again. I think perhaps Sonic's chili dogs were laced with meth today. So this one's supposed to be a 2D version of Lost World, and it looks as though it was made in MS Paint. Actually, I'm pretty sure this was made in MS Paint. Look, when you do a spin dash, they even added little zoom zoom lines to show how fast Sonic is. And it went too fast. The whole game is like this. The collision detection is totally off, so if you get too much speed, you just kind of fall through the floor. But you don't die, you just kind of roll around in a ball and can pretty much go wherever you want. Press A to do parkour, huh? Hell yeah, let's go! What? Alright. Someone needs to contact whoever made this and let them know this is not how clouds look. And this thing in the background has a waterfall that just kind of stops in midair. I'm starting to lose my mind here. Oh boy, this is the same thing, only with Shadow, and somehow it actually plays worse than the Sonic one. At least it's drawn, uh, slightly better. And there's that waterfall again, disappearing into another dimension, I guess. Actually, I take that statement about the art back. Look at that cloud. Now look at this cloud. Now look at this cloud. This lazy son of a bitch didn't even bother to draw different shapes. They just copy and pasted the same drawing over and over, and... Quite frankly, they look like big old white logs of poop. And once again, the collision detection is worse than ever, and, uh, oh! I am done here. Goodbye, friends. Hey guys, thanks for watching this ridiculous video. If you liked it, maybe give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, check out this one I made on a Paul Blart Mall Cop game. Also, if you like metal, I wrote a song about how Konami recently shit the bed. So you can check that out too if you want. And if you want to keep up with everything I do, hit that subscribe button.